to make oceans, add a plane, drop on it the ocean modifier, and that's it. To the settings, for the geometry, keep it on default. Next we have the X and Y on repeat, this works like a ray, however the pattern will repeat through all the copies. With the viewport and the output render resolution, keep it low in the viewport, something around 10 should works fine unless you're working on details, the render can go from 30 to 40 depending on the final shots. The time value will control the wave's animation, keyframe it as normal, or add a driver with hashtag frame divided by a number. The last number will control the animation speed and a value of 12 is fine. The depth is for the ground below water. The ocean size range between 5 and 8 in most cases. The spatial size will also control the ocean domain scale. In the waves tab, set the waves scale to 8 or 10 depending on how much you scaled the ocean. The smallest wave option can give you some cool results. If you want to make something other than water, choppiness, Changing the value will show you the difference, you will start getting more rough sharp waves. I would leave it on 1.5 for this value. The wind velocity is just weird, leave it on 30. The alignment can switch the ocean from center type to shore type, you have also the direction to switch the waves from one end to another. And the damping will make the waves crash at the end or in the middle. If you're previewing the animation with lag, use the sync on frame dropping to speed the preview. For the foam tab, turn it on, then type foam in the data layer, then use this as the attribute name. An easy material for the ocean goes like this, we need a glass node with the IOR of water, then mix that with an emission and plug an attribute node color in the emission, remember to name the attribute foam. Add a color ramp to better control the foam area. And that's it. If you want to make an object interacts with the ocean and leaves foam on it, you could use the dynamic paint with the ocean plane being the canvas and the object as a brush. See you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.